We'll guide you through how to download and install Chocopic 13 shaders in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, quit Minecraft. Then what you need to do is go and open up a web browser to go and get the shaders. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. Then I go to Minecraft server host. You can see some of their awesome features up here and more of them down here as well. For example, they've got one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, instant setup and so much more as well. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and in the comments. And at the moment you can get 30% off your first invoice, which is super good. So go and check them out and a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So then what we need to do is go and search for Chocopic 13 shaders, Chocopic 13 is one word, and then you can come to Curse Forge. This is a trusted place to go and get the shaders from. You can then read through the description here, but to go and download it, you need to go and click on files and then just go and note down the game version. As you can see, it, the most up-to-date version is for 1.20.1. .1. Just note that down and then go over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file. It should then automatically download. Now, what we need to do is go and get a Minecraft optimization tool called Optifine, and that allows us to go and run shaders. So what you want to do is go and search for that, just like so, and you need to go to optifine.net. Then at the top here, go and click on downloads, and we need to get the version of Optifine as we got the shaders for. So this shader would work on quite a few different versions, but the most up-to-date was 1.20.1. .1. So I'll then go and click on download there. You're gonna get taken to an ad wall. Just be aware, this is ad tier. That won't be for Optifine. You need to click on the skip button in the top right, and then you'll get taken here, and you can then go and click on download, and it will start downloading. Now we've got to downloaded what we need. We can come out of our web browser, and you need to go and open up your file explorer. Come into your downloads and find what you downloaded. You can highlight it and go and drag it onto your desktop like so. So we've got Optifine and the shader pack. We need to install Optifine, so go and double click on it. It should go and open up. Now, if it doesn't, maybe nothing happens or uh, something else opens, then what we need to do is go and install Java. So come back to your web browser. You can go and search or go straight to java.com. Once you're here, go and click on download Java and go and install it. It's super simple. Then once you've got it, come to Optifine, right click on it, hover over open with, click on choose another app. Select Java and click on always, and it should then go and open up. If you're still struggling after installing Java, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which goes and links jar and Java files together again. We've got a video on that covering it. And what you then wanna do is go and click on install, just like so. Now you may think nothing's happening, just be patient, you're going to get a pop-up shortly saying Optifine is installed. And what you can then do is you can go and open up Minecraft. So go and open up the launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, then all you need to do is go to the left of the play button and go and select Optifine and go and click on play. It should then go and launch. Once Minecraft is loaded, go and click on options and then video settings. And you can go and see the option for shaders. Click there. And what you then need to do is go and click on shaders folder. Your folder will go and open. And then what we can do is add in the Chocopic 13 shaders. So go and open up the zip file we downloaded. And we've then got these different choices of shaders here. You'll see there's quite a choice here. And basically the higher they go, the more intense they go and get for your computer. So this is going to vary depending on your computer spec. So personally, I'll just go for high. So I'll click hold and go and drag it in like so. Then what we can do is come back to Minecraft. And as you can see, there it is. Go and click on it and it will then go and be selected. You can press done. And now let's get into a world and go and check it out. You can always go and enable slash disable shaders while you're in the world as well. As you can see, here they are and they look absolutely awesome. The water looks super cool and there's just a lot more lighting as well. Do definitely go and check them out. If you find one of the packs is too laggy, then try going for uh, a pack which is gonna require less computer power and hopefully that'll go and work better. 